Prejudice Harry, here with Eric Fitz. Eric, what do you think hazardous waste is? I think hazardous waste is anything that is dangerous to humans um, that lasts on this earth for more than about a 24 hour period. So I mean that, you know, if it can disappear and become less dangerous over about a 24 hour period, then I'd consider it not hazardous. Thank you very much, that's a great answer. Um, back to you! My definition of hazardous waste is anything that is dangerous to humans that is thrown away. Waste is something that you get rid of. So things like used batteries, which have uh, very dangerous heavy metals and chemicals in them. Things like uh, cleaning agents that you might use to disinfect floors or bathrooms or that kind of thing. Um, a lot of electronics have hazardous chemicals and materials inside of them that you don't want to just throw in the regular trash because that can get into the groundwater uh, and other things that are very important to plants, animals, and humans and can hurt them. So any kind of trash that is not biodegradable um, might be considered hazardous waste. Thank you! Well in fact kids, Dave and Eric are both right. Hazardous waste is a waste with properties, properties that make it dangerous or potentially harmful to human health or the environment, according to the EPA. Yes, that's right, Harry. Hazardous waste is a no-no. Well, that is if you dispose of it in the wrong way. Let's read a story about the wrong way to dispose of hazardous waste. The story of this particular pile of toxic waste begins in the mid-1980s when the city of Philadelphia was facing a growing crisis about what to do with tons of incinerator ash. At first, it tried to bury the waste in landfills outside the city. Failing that, Philadelphia looked to dump its ash abroad. In 1986, Joseph Paulino and Sons, a carting concern, took over a $6 million contract to properly dispose of 15,000 tons of incinerator ash, which contained lead, cadmium, barium, arsenic, merc mercury, dioxin, and cyanide. It tried unsuccessfully to get rid of the ash in the Bahamas. When that effort failed, the ship traveled around the Caribbean trying to find someplace else to dump its load. The evil boat went to Haiti and left 5,000 tons of waste in a pile on the beach. The evil ship sailed around trying to unload the rest of the hazardous waste, but all countries refused its permission to land. According to Greenpeace, which analyzed the ash, it may contain as much as 210,000 pounds of toxic heavy metals, including, including hazardous levels of lead and cadmium, that exceed legal limits and high levels of mercury and arsenic. The ash also carries significant levels of the most potent toxic chemicals known dioxins and furans. Thank you. This program is brought, brought to you by Pile of Waste. Wow, that's a shame, Wilma. Sure is, Harry! Well, what do you suppose we do about that? You know, Harry, that is a super question, but before we get there, let's take a quick break. I wish I had your product. What's it called? 
It's a bajonki joint. Just dispose of your hazardous waste in here. Shake it up. Junky joints from Kmart. That's a good idea. They're only $9.99. But really, kids, hazardous waste is bad. There are many effects it has on the environment and on people. First, let's take a break. I have hazardous waste disease. I have hazardous waste disease. We, we have hazardous, hazardous waste disease. <laughs> But if you have these, injury, death, cancer, genetic damage, fetal harm, skin burns, liver damage, kidney damage, central nervous system damage, you could have it too. But you can step into the light with a Zyrdak imp. But Zyrdak imp saved my life especially when I moved off the landfill I was living on. So get your head out of the manufacturing mine sludges and get Zyrdek it. Ingredients <laughs> include <laughs> ignitability, <laughs> corrosive, <laughs> corrosivity, <laughs> reactivity, <laughs> or toxicity. <laughs> Side effects include <laughs> explosions, toxic <laughs> fumes, <laughs> gases, <laughs> or vapors. <laughs> Buy Zerdak Kip today! Well, now that we know that hazardous waste is bad, what are some easy things we can do at home? Let's brainstorm! Recycling Robert is here to say recycle. Solutionable Sally says neutralization. Convert using acid-base reactions so the hazardous component of the waste is eliminated. Silly Snake says, incinerate your trash, trash and destroy it the right way. I checked up on my hazardous waste landfill. That's right, honey, because we put our trash in a landfill the right way. Contact your state or local disposal site. And ask for sustainable solutions. So, so boy, we are hazardous waste. waste.